In this tutorial, we're going to create a spiral staircase. All right, let's press File, New, General, Don't Save. The first thing we want to do is select the default cube, press X, Delete, Shift, A, Mesh, and we're going to make use of a mesh known as a circle. Then we're going to press Tab, go into Edit Mode, press E to extrude this, and then press S to scale it and to scale it in to a point where we feel comfortable. Then we're going to press 3 to choose face select. We're going to choose a single face. And then we're going to press Ctrl I to get an invert selection of that face. And we're going to press X, delete faces. Now we've got the single face. Now we can press tab, go into object mode. And that's what's left of our circle, which we're going to rename stairs. Next thing we want to do is press Shift A, empty, and just add it there. Then select your stair, go to your modifier properties, add a modifier and array modifier. Remove the relative offset, click on the constant offset and object offset. Constant offset, everything needs to be on zero for this to work properly. And the object offset needs to be the empty that we just added. And let's ramp this up to about 40. And then we need to select this and we have to press R to rotate this, press Z to lock it to the Z axis and rotate this. Something like this should be fine. And then press GZ to lift it up. And you can rotate it some more. Just make sure you rotate it only on the Z axis. And if needs be, if you think this doesn't look right, you can always select this and increase the number of steps. For example, let's make this 60, automatically increases the height, but now when we rotate this, on the z-axis you can spread it out like that but you can also adjust the height by pressing g z personally in this example i will stick to this height now we're going to select our stairs press tab go into edit mode press 3 to choose face select choose this top face press e to extrude lift it up and create your steps and just like that we've created a beautiful spiral staircase now let's add a banister to this. Press Ctrl R to create a loop cut. Click and then bring it in all the way to the edge here. Then press 3 to choose face select. This is face select. Select this face over here and press Shift D. Right click and then press G Z and lift this up to the height that you think is appropriate. G Z maybe a little bit lower something like that should be fine. And this is where it takes a little bit of time to get the lining right. But so we're going to press, we're going to go over here. First thing we want to do is press tab, go into edit mode, press 2, select this edge over here, and just press G, and try and get it somewhat in place. Just zooming in over here, press G and get it somewhat in place and click on merge. So all we need to do is lift this up a bit, G, there we go, it's connected. It's merged and that's great. Now that it's merged, press 3 to choose face select, choose this face and press E to lift this up. And look at that, we have a beautiful banister. Now we can press two, let's choose this edge over here and let's say we wanna make this a flattish shape, which would make no sense, but let's press Control B to bevel it. And you can bevel it out. And then we'll click on the other side and we'll press Control B and we could leave it like that as well. Or we can scroll this in and make the side nice and smooth. Cool. Next thing we want to do is connect this banister to the staircase because it's floating in air at the moment. That doesn't necessarily make any sense. So we're going to press Control R to create another loop cut over here. Bring this down to about yeah and press 3 and select this 
and press E to extrude it. And once you've extruded it, you just want to zoom in over here and now you just want to press R to rotate it and try and get it somewhat in place. This does take a little bit of time to get right. So just uh, take your time with it. And uh, press G, you can pull this in. So I'm actually going to just chuck this over here. I'm going to select this over here. I'm going to press Control R. I'll bring this out to, I don't know, somewhere there. That's, this should be somewhat correct. Then I'm going to select, press 3. I'm going to select that edge. I'll shift, select this uh, face, those two faces. Right click. And we're looking for bridge faces and then perhaps we just press S to scale this in a little bit press 2 select this edge here maybe scale this in to make it just look a little bit more appropriate let's do the same for this side just scale it in there we go that's looking a little bit better Press tab, go into object mode, right click, shade smooth, go to your object data properties, normals, auto smooth at 30 should be fine. And then you can just add your material. Hope, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to use a glossy material and give it a strength of 0 0.15. And let's also add an environmental texture. You can go to hdrhaven.com and download yourself a free HDR image. I'm going to use the water one that I have somewhere. Yeah? If I don't find it, I'll use the other one. There it is. Open. All right. And now we just change the render view. And then we can click on our render settings and just turn on screen space reflection, turn on refraction, bloom, and ambient occlusion. And we've just created a beautiful spiral staircase in a relatively short amount of time. I'm going to choose the sound gear, control and pad zero, select the camera, press G, select the object data properties for the camera, maybe just scale this out just a tad, and render the image. I'll see you in the next one.